Admittedly, my fish is kind of ugly. <laughs> but, I mean, we're just playing with colors, honestly. So, in order to brighten it up, because it's so muddy from my grayscaled image, I want an overlay. I want kind of like a little bit of a bright layer of color. See, I picked this like peach to go a little bit brighter. I'm just going to go over it just a little bit. Brighten up the color bit image. Face bugs me a bit, but this face fish is going to bug me no matter what. Um, I would say that's sufficiently pretty bright. You can go over it with color dodge in certain spots if I really wanted to. But the main goal of this video was to have a good selection of adjusting the color. So the first one is that I learned is this level. Um, I don't really quite understand it, except for knowing that if I go down or up, it, it adjusts the colors according to where it's at on this level. As you can see my histogram over here, I've got like no shadow, I've got like no middle tones, and now I have way too much highlight. So I'm starting to learn how to read the histogram. And then, let's see, so I didn't really much like that leveling filter tool to do my colors. Uh, the other one that I learned that I do like that I don't know how to get to is Control M. Control M will give you this color adjustment different way. So I can lower it like this. Get just different colors. I actually like that. I can play. Thanks. And I can adjust the different layers as well. So I've got everything on separate layers. If I just did, I could affect one layer, but if I wanted to affect my whole layer in a different type of color adjustment, merge this. Oh, something happened there. I don't hate it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to show. So this is the one that I actually really do like this color balance right here. So you show your shadows, your mid highlights. I think this tool is actually pretty awesome because it kind of shows you exactly what you're affecting and where. If I move this level in the shadows, see how it's changing my Instagram? I'm kind of learning a little bit more about what my shadows are doing. Highlights are doing all that stuff on my midtones. So it's just having fun. Cool. Experimenting. That's exactly what we are experimenting with color. That creative has to offer. It's kind of fun seeing what you can do, how it changes. Just having fun at this point. Doing different things, creating different burn effects. I'm really affecting my highlights right now. Different things. All for the sake of fun. Go back up to midtone, see what that's doing. Yeah. So I found that this color adjustment right here is kind of my favorite out of all the three that I learned. So I am going to sign off for now. Thanks. That's how you adjust your color. You can do it for different layers or you can affect the picture. I didn't know you could affect it for just certain layers. There's no control U for hue, but you can use, like, per se, that curve tool, M, on the different layers. For example, I will show you this because I didn't think you could do it in Krita, but you can obviously do it in Krita. 
I don't know why I didn't think so. So let's say I've got this guy right here. Well, M. C. Got to adjust him. And it just affects him. So you can do this with a lot of things. Colors and stuff. Like there's different things. Blue that you can. Blue. Saturation. Saturation colors. Vibrant. Not as vibrant. Lightness. Dark or how light something. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Who's out? I was stupid. Bye.